So, we've got a number one deluxe meal. Is there anything else I can get you? Yeah, I'd also like a good night's sleep. Maybe something like the I didn't struggle all night with my uncomfortable CPAP mask. Sir, I think what you're looking for is Inspire. It's an implant that works inside your body to treat sleep apnea without a CPAP. Come on. He sounds angry. Inspire, sleep apnea innovation. Inspire is not for everyone. Talk to your doctor to see if it's right for you. And review important safety information at InspireSleep.com. All right, this is an easy game. You have to make the operator, the 411 operator, laugh. Okay, we've done make us laugh, which is our crack us up. Just where you make us laugh. We will just dial 411 and see what kind of sense of humor is on the other end of directory assistance. Sometimes they have great senses of humor. Uh-huh. We'll find out. You ready to go? Yep. All right, you have 10 seconds. You ready? Please hold for an operator. Thank you for continuing to hold. Oh, yeah. One city, please. Uh, yes, ma'am. Hello. Uh, you won't believe what happened to me. It's in Lawrenceville, and I got cheese in my receiver, my telephone. Yeah, so? And I wonder if you could see that. Don't think I can see it, sir. All right. Time's up. Oh, she had nice try. No sense of humor. That's why she's working for the phone company. You want to give it a try? Yeah. You can tell this guy's going to win. Sell, sell. City, please. Hey, I want to go to Disneyland. What listing, please? Disneyland. What? Dude, what kind of weak <laughs> attempt was that? It was, was so that? bad. I don't know. That was one of the worst attempts at this game I've heard. Come on. <laughs> I'm going to Disneyland? I'm going to Disneyland. Okay. <laughs> Work on that one and right. get back to us next year. Morning X. Uh, I'd like to play. You're only going to have 10 seconds once she gets on the phone. Bell cell. We can now please hold for an operator. Can I help you? Uh, yeah, I was trying to find uh, my doctor. His name's uh, Harry Anus. A N A S. Yes, and uh, also uh, there's also a person called uh, Ida Swallow there too. My sir, I don't have a Harry Anus. <laughs> you don't? Office number, no sir. <laughs> That's as bad as uh, me saying, hey, would you blow me? You know what? Nobody, nobody could make the operator laugh, but you made us laugh. Contest you get it. over. Contest over. <laughs> oh, man. Could make the operator what laugh. What tickets do you want? Oh, wow. What do you have? You want Georgia Tech, Wake Forest, football tickets, Creed tickets, or that Norelco Razor? Um, tell you what. I'll take, uh, I can use a good shave, so. All right. You've got it. Norelco uh, Reflex Electric Razor. Take the 21-day challenge, that, sir. That'll be good for Harry Anus. That will be good. <laughs> nice work. Hold on. We'll get you taken uh, care of. Uh, All right. I know, thank you. Uh, folks, I know we're seven years old, but come on. That was funny. If you didn't laugh at that, you have serious <laughs> issues. Come on, Leslie, you didn't even laugh. I smiled. I cracked a smile. Okay. For decades, Rolling Stone has set the bar for entertainment publications. Today, Rolling Stone Music Now takes over in podcast form. It is incredible Beyonce is in this place that I think is so enviable. I mean, it's so interesting that she starts with ballads. Yeah, when I opened the live stream, it's like, what's going on? I thought this was going to be a different tone for the opening of the concert. But it is really cool that she's doing this moment, you know, as intimate as you can get in a Beyonce stadium show. Rolling Stone Music Now, wherever you listen.